Today's topic is how to pick the best framework so that you can be employable or you can get a job so that you can get good things in life so you can pay your mortgage so you can pay your rent so on and so forth and it all boils down to one question which framework to pick this is tricky if i tell you my story i have a very weird story and a very bad example but i want to share so that you guys won't do the same mistake i did so when i so i was in university and uh, i was in my final semester maybe yeah around final semester i was doing electrical engineering and i came to the realization that i don't want to become an electrical engineer because there are very few jobs in electrical second i don't think so i was enjoying like the electrical stuff you can you can say and i at that moment at very end of my studies at my at university i thought maybe i should do something else then i picked programming because i thought why not and i st- i studied a little bit of programming in high school uh i did computer science c++ for 2 years and i hated it um uh, because i wanted to get good grades in physics chemistry maths but i had to find some time to do computer science and at that moment i was more inclined towards doing hard sciences like chemistry organic chemistry i was i was too much into chemistry that's why i didn't pick computer science when i had the opportunity on in my first year of bachelor's i picked electrical my father is uh, an electrical engineer so he motivated me and said you should try it okay long story short when i was about to graduate i thought i should create an app and to create an app i googled and they say either you can do react at that time you can do angular there's only two options and i went with angular surprise and uh, i did angular before i even did javascript i'm sorry before i even did angular i was doing python because i thought maybe python is kind of like a sweet spot you can always do like web stuff you can do some data stuff so maybe learning python is a good thing and then i was just following advice on youtube and they said you can you, you should do django so i started doing django it was python and i was like doing creating those mvc apps uh model view controllers uh there was no concept of i didn't learn the concept of rest api as front end anything i was just like a newbie and trying to figure out this web thing and uh, i started with python and when i when someone told me that you can do rest api and you can do front end you can separate your back end and i was like hmm i could do that too so so that moment i thought i should do angular and then i started doing angular because i thought why should i waste time doing javascript right i mean if i if i know angular uh, it means that i can do javascript so i was actually moving backwards that was a wrong approach um so i tried doing angular without learning javascript and you can imagine what sort of hell i was in and then after maybe i think 3 or 4 months i just quit i thought i couldn't do this because i was i was not understanding a single thing uh so i i could i could make little apps but when it comes to complexity as it grows in complexity i couldn't do that so what i did i then thought i should do um, uh, the ios apps android apps and then i started doing react native i didn't do javascript i didn't do react and now i was doing react native and as you know after few months i was crashed and uh, i couldn't i couldn't build the app because like man this is too hard i just couldn't understand the the building blocks that was the issue to learn from my mistakes don't spend too much time doing frameworks before you did your basics that's the advice number 1 i mean you can try and do what i did and you'll be circled back to position where i was at at that moment so don't do that or do at your own risk i have this habit i don't stop people to make mistakes but you don't have to like fail miserably you can still make mistakes and don't like don't put yourself in too much harm so that's my motto so you can make mistakes make make apps without uh, learning javascript you learn something but uh, but yeah spend some little time as well learning javascript as well okay so long story short the best framework is javascript 
I know JavaScript is not a framework. JavaScript is a language. But if you know JavaScript, you will have those transferable skills which you can export to any other frameworks. So before you're doing any framework, make sure you do your basics first. That's rule number one. Rule number two, pick a framework which you find easy. Now, because for me, Angular was hard and React was easy and that could be vice versa for you. So spend some time, maybe do both for like two weeks, try Angular and for two weeks, try React and compare which one you like most and go watch videos where people compare them and come to a conclusion. So we have different kind of frameworks. So we have Angular, React, Vue, these, these are the like top three and then we have Svelte and now we have Quick, Astro, Solid, maybe I'm forgetting the new newer ones. Next.js, I don't know, Next.js kind of like uh, the newer version of, uh, I mean, it's based on React, so I wouldn't count, maybe, yeah, maybe Next.js. If your concern is money, then you should pick from top three. That's my best advice. Because let's say you are your brand new JavaScript developer, you, you've been doing JavaScript for three months or so, you won't get a Svelte job, because there are not many Svelte jobs. You won't get a quick, the new framework, uh, job in doing quick or solid. But there are very smart people who are working on these frameworks. So your first motto should be to get a job. I mean, that's why you're watching me. <laughs> you need a job, right? If you, if you don't want a job, I mean, you don't even <laughs> need to listen to me. So if you need a job, pick one framework from top three. My recommendation is React and uh, try new, try to build like small apps with, with at least, so try to build apps in two of them or one of them and see like which one you like. The reason I picked React is because there are more jobs in React than in Angular and Vue. Maybe Angular has or had more jobs, but now React is kind of king. It's very hard to beat React. React is putting a lot of great stuff. And now we have Next, a new framework who are copying like JSX. Uh, I think Solid copy, Solid and Quick, they, they both do JSX now. So you should at least try JSX. And then if you, if you can learn and get to the basic understanding of JSX, then I think you can do a lot of different frameworks. So JSX is not super hard, but uh, if you're a beginner, you may find it a little confusing because it's like HTML and JavaScript in one bundle, which is which is good, which is, to be honest, it's really good uh, because the way they build web is like, first they created HTML. After a few years, three or four years, I think they created CSS. And after a few years, they created JavaScript. So it wasn't planned that we will be doing all these things on HTML. It was just a hypertext. So you just put uh, put something, put, put a document, and then you can have like different documents linked to one document. So you, you can just click on one uh, link and then it will open another document. You can click on that link. So sorry, that page, it will open another document. So it was uh, hyperlinked. So it, everything was linked. So that was the way uh, we started our frameworks. So my recommendation would be React. Okay, so to end the conclusion, the best framework is JavaScript. You should do your basics and when you are confident in JavaScript, you can pick any framework. You can pick Angular, you can pick React, you can pick Svelte, you can pick Vue. Yeah, and I think I didn't speak much about Vue because I didn't work in Vue much. I mean, I didn't work in Vue at all. So if you want to be a Vue developer, uh, there should be some YouTubers who just do Vue. Uh, I think Vue is a great framework and uh, it was quite competitive with React because Angular is just different game. I mean, they say like Angular are for pro. So I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a funny statement, but but I, but I their developers like who are like super smart, they say they use Angular because you can do a lot of things in Angular. You don't need to uh, do like, use like Redux for state management. It has like inbuilt state management. This is one of the things like uh, in React, when I started React, there was uh, there was Redux. There was no uh, use context context APIs or anything. So the newer version of React is a bit mature, and you can have a lot of inbuilt uh, prop drilling, and you can have a lot of uh, state management. 
And if you're completely new, you don't know what state management is, what prop drilling is, or what are higher component, higher order components is that that's okay. I mean, they, they're not too, too complicated. They can be too complicated, but they're not that complicated of concepts.